Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to add custom cars on an Assetto Corsa server. Before we get started, the Assetto Corsa web panel will be used for this tutorial. If you do not know how to set this up for your server, I will have a video linked in the description. Also, players must match the mods that are on the server when they connect to the server. We will first go over how to add custom cars on the server through the web panel. We will then go over how to do so in the content manager. And lastly, we will go over how to do it through the client. We will now go over how to add custom cars through the web panel. First, we want to download a custom car. Once we have that .zip file, we want to right click and extract that file. For this tutorial, we're going to extract this to our desktop folder so we can easily find this. Now we need to minimize this folder. We will use this a bit later. And we can now log in to the Assetto Corsa server web panel. And under content, we're going to select cars and setups. We can now reopen that minimized folder and we are going to drag the extracted folder into the cars and setups section. And then we're going to choose upload cars. You will now have the custom cars added to your Assetto Corsa through the web manager. We will now go over how to add custom cars on an Assetto Corsa client with the content manager. First, we're going to download the content manager. And then we are going to take the file that is downloaded and we are going to extract it. Once extracted, we will then run the content manager.exe. The app can read where your root folder is, but if it did not, just choose the change button to the right and choose the Assetto Corsa root folder. Then choose the Steam ID name for your online profile. And then lastly, enter your name. You can also optionally select Create to add a shortcut to the Start menu. Once you've done so, you can click Install on each of the plugins and then press OK once they're all installed. We will now go to the Settings tab and we're going to select the Custom Shaders patch. And then we're going to hit the Install button. We can now open an internet browser and download a custom car. Once downloaded, we will take that compressed file and move it into the content manager. We will then select the three lines in the upper right hand corner. And under downloads, we're going to click install next to the one that we just dragged. Once that's launched, we will then launch Assetto Corsa and we'll have added a custom car onto our Assetto Corsa client. Lastly, we're going to go over how to add custom cars on an Assetto Corsa client manually. First, we will download a custom car, and then we will take the custom car download and extract it to a folder. For this tutorial, we're going to extract it to a folder onto our desktop for easy use. Once that's extracted, we're just going to take note of everything in this folder as it may vary depending on what you downloaded. We can now minimize this folder to use later in the tutorial. And then from the Steam page, we are going to right-click Assetto Corsa, hover Manage, and select Browse Local Files. We are then going to open the Content folder. We can now open our minimized file. Depending on what's in our downloaded folder, we need to match those with the correct folder that is on the actual game itself. So for this tutorial, we downloaded a custom car that had the Cars folder and the Driver folder. So we're going to open the cars folder on the downloaded file and also open the cars folder on the client. And we're going to drag the downloaded cars content into this folder. We're going to do the same thing for the driver folder. We're going to open that on the downloaded side and drag it over to our client. Once you've done so, you can now launch a set of Corsa and you will have installed the custom car onto your client. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.